so today we're going to create um, a retargeting Twitter ad campaign. Uh, we're going to use uh, one of the newest pieces of content that we've created here at Bitly called um, Seven Ways Brands Use Campaigns. So uh, the first thing, you know, I'll just log into your, obviously log into your ads uh, section right here. Uh, you can see the different campaigns that we've been running already, uh, but we're going to create a new one today. Uh, when you decide to create a new Twitter campaign, you can see that there's a lot of different ways or reasons why you would be creating it. It's either to you know gain followers or leads directly on Twitter, that's like capturing someone's email, or in, the, in our case, we want to drive website clicks or conversions. So we're going to click that. Cool. So when you first uh, start a campaign, you know, definitely uh, name it on seven ways brands use campaigns. Um, you can choose your start and end date if you have something uh, in particular, or you can just have it start and run uh, continuously. It's, uh, it's good practice to always update the, the ads that you're running on Twitter, especially because people see it um, and then move on. So um, it's a good idea to, uh, especially if you're running it continuously, to make sure that you're um, refreshing the ads themselves. Um, right here you can see there's something called Twitter audience platform. So this um, indicates uh, allowing the campaign to reach across uh, Twitter's uh, platform, you know, not just the Twitter site itself uh, or the Twitter app itself. Um, in our case, we want to turn this off because a lot of times this can increase the, um, you know, the amount of impressions ac across something that might not be relevant. 